guys, welcome back to the business of art. Now, normally on this channel, we do kind of focus on growing your social media and specifically selling paintings. Um, but today I wanna to go into why are you doing what you're doing? Why are you an artist? What makes you an artist? What is your purpose as an artist? Because I think that until you define that, it can be actually really difficult to sell art because you don't even know kind of what you're, why you're doing it in the first place. Now I know some people sell art literally just because they paint a lot and they wanna get rid of it. That's definitely a reason, absolutely. But why are you creating all that in the first place? You know what I mean? Is it an outlet for your emotions? Are you trying to put more beauty into the world? Are you trying to communicate something? You know what I mean? I mean, for me personally, as an artist, honestly, my main purpose is to help other people. That's my primary purpose in life. And I want to do that by teaching others, educating others, mentoring others, and then also just by simply adding more beauty into the world. I want someone to get one of my paintings and put it up in their home or office or give it as a gift and have that painting in that space just lift lift the space up, you know what I mean? Lift everybody up, make them feel more calm, more peaceful, more happy, you know what I mean? And that is what art is for. It's aesthetics. It's it's designed, generally speaking, to lift people up. Or, you know, there's other forms of art, of course, that do other things. But at least for me, for my art, that is my goal and my purpose. So when I'm out there selling art, I, generally speaking, do quite well because I know my purpose and I know that, um, I mean, I know that that I want that person that's considering buying my art to have that effect. You know what I mean? It's not just about the money. Obviously, we all need money. We need to be able to buy more art supplies and occasionally food um, <laughs> in that order of importance. But you know what I mean? Like I really want, I want to help that person. And then when I'm making my videos for this channel and even for the other channel, I want to help people to know that they can be artists and it's something that they can do. You know what I mean? So it's a huge purpose for me and that's what drives me. And if you have your purpose really like nailed down and you stick to it, then the good thing about that is all the other crap can come hit you, you know, any negative people or anyone that's trying to put you down and whatnot. And it really won't phase you that much. It may temporarily like for one day or five minutes phase you. But otherwise, you know that you are doing something awesome and you have a you have a definite purpose and you can just stick to that and continue to do well and flourish and prosper. And that's honestly the best weapon against anyone trying to put you down anyways, is just flourish and prosper because they can't do anything about that. <laughs> so I recommend taking a, a few minutes and sitting down and thinking about what is your purpose as an artist and even in life, but really as an artist, what are you trying to do with your art? And what are you trying to do as a, as a, an artist? That's a, a beingness, you know what I mean? That's a, a title. Um, so what are you trying to do as an artist? And, um, you know, how are you out there to maybe make the world a better place? <laughs> All right, guys, I hope this was helpful. Please don't forget to subscribe and I will see you next time.